Hi students and welcome to wood burning. You're going to be doing your wood burning on a piece of cedar wood. Looks like this, nice red color. But I'm going to show you on a different type of wood. The cedar wood is really nice. It has small grain pattern, so it'll be nice and easy for the wood burning. But to show you a little easier, I'm going to use this lighter piece of wood. You're going to start with finding a reference. It can really be anything, but you want to be able to look at something and be able to notice the light and dark shadows. So when you're wood burning, uh, you're creating something that has some value and some depth. So go ahead and reference an image. Again, it could be something from nature or portrait, whatever you'd like. You're going to use the wood burner and the wood burner has to be plugged in. It also has a variety of tips. You're going to want to find the tip that is best for you. Um, Depends what you're doing. If you're outlining, you'll want to use maybe a really pointy tip. And all you do is screw them into the wood burner when it's not hot. You do not want to touch the wood burner and change tips while it's plugged in and hot. You will burn your hand if that happens. Um, but you want to unplug, turn it off, let it cool down, and then change tips if you're wanting to uh, put a different tip in. There is an on-off switch, so you always want to make sure that it's on or off depending on, on what you're planning on doing. Um, just be careful that you don't ever touch the metal part with your hand because it will burn you. Okay, and then you want to look at your image that you have already drawn onto your wood. And you're going to lay it on the wood. For the dark areas, you're going to want to lay it on there for a longer time. So you're actually going to let it sit on the wood and that's how you're going to get the really dark valued areas. If you want things to start getting lighter, you're going to move the wood burner around faster, in which case it's not going to burn for as long, meaning it's going to get a lighter burn. That is how you create value with a wood burner. It is a relatively time-consuming process, just so you know it's not going to go real fast, especially when you're creating a lot of detailed areas. Okay, you'll notice I'm working on dark shadows here, and then as I go through to the edge of my petal, it gets much lighter. So I need to create a shadow that's cast by the petal on top and then a lot lighter as I come out. So in order to get that, I move my pen around much faster so it's not sitting on the wood for as long, meaning that it's not going to be as dark. The darker areas, I just let the pen kind of sit for a second or two as it gets that, that darkened, more burnt area. Um, one thing to kind of think about or remember while you're doing this is that it's very similar to like a stippling process and you will kind of get a, almost a stippling pattern when you're doing the wood burning, like small kind of little dots. So it, it does have a similar effect to stippling. 